Hello, everybody, and welcome to another interview for the GFP Online Congress 2021 with my beautiful friend in Austria, Mona Abinger. Hi, Mona. Hi, everybody. Hi, Christine. Good to see you. Mona works in the fitness industry since 2001. 2009, she fell in love with pole dance and started to compete very soon after. Mona won many titles from 2010 on, including placing several times at Miss Pole Dance Austria. She's European trainer instructor for expert pole fitness since 2014, and she's the owner of two own pole arts pole dance studios in Vienna and Vienna area. Some of you might know Mona already from the last GFP Online Congress in 2020, and we are super happy to have her again. Hi, Mona. Thank you. <laughs> also, thank you very much for be being part of it again. I'm very happy to be with you. Thank uh, you so much. Tell us what's on the menu this year. What kind of tutorials do you bring for the Get Fit and Pole Online Congress? Uh, this year we have a beginner tutorial, intermediate, uh, uh, intermediate tutorial, we have a heels choreo, we have warm up, and we have some pole conditioning with me. Mm, yeah, so you get to see Mona a lot this year. So looking forward to that. And of course, I also enjoy. Yeah, I hope I can take part every day. Like I'm really that that's my goal this year. So starting You're from the beginning, huh? You are such a hard worker. <laughs> you are. We are starting right from the beginning again. What made you start pole dance? Um, what made me start? Um, mm -hmm. I, I I saw it on TV. And I was like, uh -huh, mm, interesting, but I forgot it again. Mm -hmm. And a couple of months after uh, I saw again on TV, I don't know, I, I maybe it was a uh, Germany's next top model or something like that. Oh, really? Okay. And then um, I was like, ah, yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. I started Googling, I Googled, uh, but I didn't find any course or anything where I can learn pole dance in my area because uh -huh. uh, it was in 2010, yeah, mm -hmm. and there was no, no school, nobody. And to be honest, I've never, ever visited a normal pole dance course myself never nope. ever never done it that because it wasn't there at the time and then i i found by accident a workshop from uh, Nele Seat, and she has been in vienna for uh, a workshop which took four hours and I've been there and I fell in love and ordered the pole. And yes, that, that was the beginning of my journey. So four hours workshop. What yeah. did you do in those four hours? Like, was it like a dip spin and a chair spin or like really like all the things? All the things, all the things. I did my first ever hang as a cross knee release in these four hours. I we did everything because actually it was was such a young sport at this mm -hmm. time, and you haven't had anything like levels or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a certain thing like that. So it was like okay, just do this, do that, do this, do that, and it was oh, yay. <laughs> I was absolutely, immediately, I fell in love. Oh, so you were hooked. Did you have any movement background before that? Like any kind of sports, dancing? Um, actually, um, since I was a child, I did a lot of different things, like um, a couple of months, um, half, a half of a year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Classical ballet, mm -hmm. jazz dancing. I also did kickboxing. <laughs> I played American football. Um, American I football. Did, yeah, awesome. I did. Yeah, I did really a lot of things. And um, my father opened a fitness studio in um, 2003. And I did um, the, the aerobic instructor and the fitness instructor. So this is my professional background mm -hmm. as an instructor before I did pole dance. Okay. What motivates you in your pole practice? 
Um, details. Details. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> when I started, well, the interesting shift, or my interest shifted. When I started, I wanted this move, the other move, the next move, all the moves. Yeah. Because to be honest, when I started pole dancing, a handspring was like, wow. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, there it's is so. It still is, isn't it? Yeah, it still is, but um, you have, haven't had the range you have right now because oh. you have so many variations of different tricks and spins and combos True. and stuff like that. You haven't had that in former days. Mm -hmm. So um, um, at some point, yeah, um, there is, you realize now you have to really work on your strengths. You really have to work on your focus on your flexibility if you want to achieve a certain move. So mm -hmm. when, I, because I, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm getting older, I'm getting older. Yeah. So um, this is when um, I, I started, my, my focus shifted from tricks to details. So mm -hmm. if I do a certain trick, I have to, wow, a, a, whole, mm -hmm. a lot of time uh, I'm trying to really get it more smooth, get it maybe with one hand um, or um, trying to, to, to really um, focus on um, make it look like there's no strength needed on flying. So mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. currently right now in, this moment, this time, everything uh, with heels is my new yeah, addiction. So, yeah. Yes, because I'm really I'm stiff like like wood. Yeah. If, yeah, I am. If you do, if you, I'm going to break if you bend me too much. Okay. But this is everything in detail. Everything looks so smooth. Everything looks looks so perfect. And. Mm -hmm. For me, for me personally, I, I have the feeling I really can learn a lot in this section, in this area, and that's that's yeah. I realized when I when I did that, like I mean, you realize it apparently always, but like when I did it the first time, like dancing in heels, I was like, <gasps> hard. Yes. Like, yeah, I no. absolutely underestimated how hard it is that it looks yes. elegant, that it looks on point, that it looks easy and sexy and like your facial yes. expression. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. All the it's, stuff. All the stuff. All, all yeah. the stuff. Everything you say. I'm completely, yes, I completely agree. So if you plan your own training, is it like, is it structured? Like you have a plan, you're like, okay, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I do this and that, or you make it as you go in terms of how do I feel? How much time do I have? Yes. Like, um, right now it's more like how much time do I have? Do I have? Because mm -hmm. right now at the moment um, I'm teaching a lot of, of online classes and every class needs a certain time of preparation as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm human, I'm not a machine, so sometimes I need a rest, yeah. Um, but uh, in case I, uh, I really have the time, it's sometimes, sometimes on Saturdays or Sundays when I really know there is no class there is nothing to do mm -hmm. I, and i really i really love to have the feeling i have all day time for yes day. i mean, absolutely understand like not forced in between things yes. Mm -hmm. yes definitely so really i can do it as long as i want and that's perfect for me and when i do um my structure yeah is i i, I i'm a very visual person because mm -hmm. a lot of things especially when you started i learned by myself yeah because mm -hmm. i've never ever visited a course and i really need these visuals mm -hmm. yeah? i have my videos like for example for example, from Instagram, yeah, and there are certain moves in it I want to try, I want to focus on. And I'm recording myself since the first second because mm -hmm. this is how I can see the difference and I can find my mistakes and my points uh, to where I should improve and where I should be do, do better. This is how I train. So mm -hmm. yeah. it takes a lot of time as well, a lot of breaks. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I need that. All right. 
Is there one advice you would give pole dancers from your own pole dance experience, from your own practice? Yes. Um, like everyone says, and it's absolutely right, focus on the basics, focus on mm -hmm. the basics. Make mm -hmm. sure you don't get too fast on a too high level because mm -hmm. you there, there might be some injuries, your joints, if you're not strong enough, if, 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 if your body yeah. is not yet ready for that, yeah? Really so make good. sure you focus on basics, yeah? And don't get, uh, and take it with fun, yeah? And not too serious, because I also know Paul Vance are like, shit, I'm so bad, I'm so thick. I know I completely get it when you, you're focused on the trick and you don't get it six weeks, yeah? But no worries about, about that, because there are certain other tricks you can, you mastered in, in, in just moments yeah you yes. know what I mean? so take it with fun focus on the basics yeah and do it consistently appreciate that awesome apart from pole dance do you have any other hobbies <laughs> <laughs> like wait a second <laughs> let me think <laughs> uh, um, is there something else than pole dance yeah um, <laughs> Um, yeah, um, I'm normally, normally, yeah, I'm, do, I'm working out in the gym as well since, mm -hmm. uh, since now I started one and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. So, and I really, it's like brain off and just do it and really focused on both sides equal. And, oh yeah. The balance. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah, my body appreciates that. Mm-hmm. Do you train in your pole practice both sides or is that something that um, actually when I'm teaching my regular classes um, mm -hmm. we are all doing one choreo uh, on a five weeks uh, course yes. on both sides yeah okay awesome and mm -hmm. um, I'm really I'm, I'm really focused on uh, to on my students to do it on both sides equal in that course. But for example, if we do some heels choreos, it's always on one side. I'm trying mm -hmm. to incorporate some moves on the other side as well, but it's hard, but it's hard because some, mm -hmm. sometimes it really fits perfectly together all on one side. And um, yeah, sometimes it's hard, but for me personally, also in the classes when I'm teaching and I'm telling my students to do both sides equal. Yeah. For me, for me personally, as an instructor, it's easier to do it on my better side and to explain. I can do it slower. I can and I can show in a proper, really proper way, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. feels better and easier for me. And then I'm running to my students and I just did it on one side. So um, it's not the same because it's actually um, a class is not my workout. Yeah, um, when I do train for myself, I really try to focus on both sides because when you have both sides more or less equal, mm -hmm. I'm listening. <laughs> uh, if you have them more or less equal, you have a lot, a bigger range of yes. possibilities for your combos. Yes, yeah, so I mean, true. If you're just good on one side, you have to go that way because you can't go the other way. And if you can do it on both sides, more or less equal, you have your your range is way bigger, and that's awesome. Absolutely, and like body wise, and like with all the pain and aching, and absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I completely agree because this is also something that might happen or mm -hmm. the possibility is here. Yeah, yes. because if you're absolutely strong on one side and flexy and everything and the other side. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Are you more of a morning person or a night owl? I'm a complete, I'm an owl. I'm the mother of all owls. So that 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 would go for your pole practice as well. So you would prefer to yes. train later in the day, or yes. you're like with with your pole practice would be okay. 
No, no way in the morning because in the evening, I feel like all the rest of my power, I can shoot out. Ah. Nothing else is going to happen after. And I shoot it all out right now. Okay, yeah, and, awesome. Makes sense. Um, yeah, and um, besides that, I've been working a couple of years in the night. And um, maybe that's also a reason, but I had it already from my childhood. Yeah, okay. So. okay. What's your favorite food or drink or snack? Uh -oh. I'm absolutely addi addicted. This is no, uh, <laughs> I don't get money for that. <laughs> I'm super addicted. Yeah, that's really bad. Uh, but I don't drink coffee. I, I can't stand coffee in my mouth. I like to smell it. I like some things that taste like coffee. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I cannot drink it. I can't tell you why, but uh, this is my bad addiction. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite item of clothes or your favorite outfit? Everything that's comfortable, everything. I, mm -hmm. I can't stand it if there is stuff too tight. I hate that. I, I, I don't feel, I feel like, <gasps> I don't know, everything just jogging, jogging pants, mm -hmm. leggings. Yeah. Yes. Comfy. Yeah, absolutely. I'm completely with that. How did pole or is pole changing you as a person? <sighs> at the beginning when i started pole dancing mm -hmm. everybody was talking about it's a push for your uh, uh self uh, mm -hmm. for yourself for your ego for your everything i was mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. why i don't get it yeah mm -hmm. now i i understand and um, for me personally um because i'm doing pole now since 2010 i learned in these 11 years, if I want to achieve a goal, I have to work for it. I have to do it cons consistently. Mm -hmm. And if I'm still in the game and I do and I work, I, I, I often did that process, that this, this process is working. So, and this process also fits in all the other sections of your life. Yeah, so, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I know. If I'm working for it, if I'm consistently doing it, mm -hmm. I can achieve everything what I want. What, what, uh, yeah, I just can do it. I'm sure. Yeah, this is what I learned. So, and oh, uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in a sense, Paul taught you how to go after your dreams, how to achieve your goals? Yes, and uh, absolutely, I don't, you don't, so, don't get me wrong. There are some people, uh, they might say they are gifted with yeah. something because they have to, don't have to work that much. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you don't see what they have been working already the rest of their lives. Because yes. when it's an LA dancer since years, because it, it is an acrobat since years, you haven't seen them work yet. You just see she's coming. This is a new trick and she's just doing it. Yeah. Yeah. There is a lot of work going before. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, you will earn it. You, you will get the profit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you, you do, if it, it is in a good way or in a bad way, if you don't practice on both sides equal, the result uh, will be maybe some accident or an injury or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So really what pole dance taught me and I'm, I'm really, I also um, got friend with my own body because when I started pole dancing, I really had a problem in my heart, in my, uh, with mm -hmm. hands. So I was like, ooh, oh, my thighs, ooh, yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> and nowadays, I've, I don't give a shit, yeah. I go out on the street with my pole wear and I don't mind. And maybe it's because I'm old, I don't know, yeah. So, but I truly, I really, really think because you get the confidence with your own body, you have mm -hmm. all the old time, yeah, we are standing in the studio, you have the mirrors in front of your face. Yes. Uh, You're just seeing yourself. You're getting used to yourself. Mm -hmm. And 
Yeah, and my body is a fucking machine. Yeah. So like that. Yeah, so it's like that. I'm, I'm still, I'm focused on how, what, maybe what my body looks like. Mm -hmm. But I'm also aware, uh, I also know I can do a lot of things with it. Yes. And I think there's probably no other sport where you're so much confronted, like, with you being almost naked or nakedish, and then like observing yourself. And I think what I realized is like many people, um, including myself, like when you train, like you would record yourself because you want to like, if you train on your own, if you're not in the studio or, um, you know, like that you get the feedback. So you're watching yourself all the time, like your body, how you look. Yeah. Yeah. So you then can better get used to your body and fall in love with your body um and that makes life even more awesome i guess yeah definitely, definitely. and i also think one more thing yeah sorry no, <laughs> i mean we can go on like that that's for sure like it's, it's it's super interesting yeah i also think um because uh, what i want to mention and what i really want to say and what i really really think um I don't have that in my classes. I've never had the experience in another class, yeah, or anything like that. But I get, I have those experience with people who do not do pole dance. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because me as an instructor and also all the students, you see a lot of different body, uh, body types. Mm -hmm. Let's say body types. Yeah, sure. Long legs, short legs, uh, long upper body, short upper body, whatever. Yeah. Monkey, penguin. Yeah, I'm a penguin. I'm the penguin. We are the penguins. Yes. Um, and there are, um, I, I don't see the body composition Mm -hmm. uh, like this is beautiful or this is ugly or any I don't see that mm -hmm. I don't have an opinion on that mm -hmm. I truly don't have that mm -hmm. I have an opinion for myself what I like on myself but I do not have an opinion on another person yeah because everybody has to do be aware of it I'm watching people because because of the uh, short arms she has to do it a different way yeah. because of shorter arms or longer legs so mm -hmm. this is how i see people and the experience with non-pole related people is that oh, did you see her she's fat i hate that mm -hmm. i can't stand that shit and this is something also i think i didn't do it before pole either but right now especially right now yeah with seeing all those different people, nobody is perfect. So why the hell? And everybody has its own little package yes. with himself. So we don't judge anyone. This is, this is so okay, judging. And, and what is perfect anyways? That's yeah. Um, yeah. And I don't have the experience in the pole world where I've been until now, but I really have that in a non pole related uh, part of life. Yeah, where there are some people really judging, uh, don't do this shit. Yeah, and I not think. Nice. Not it's nice. <laughs> we don't do that. And I <laughs> think. <laughs> And I think, actually, we should invite those people to poll classes because yeah. they might be doing it, like I'm a 90-90% sure, because of not having the experience and like accepting your own body, love your own self and blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, you look at right. others and then say, You're oh, right. That's ugly, or that's you know whatever yeah. it is to make you f like to feel more comfortable in your own skin, which doesn't make sense anyways. But uh, yeah, I think like Mona, why don't we go go um, next time somebody's doing that? Like, hey, you know what? You should take a pole class. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I definitely agree. Yeah, yeah. So thank you so much. So how? 
like you said, you mentioned like you offer, you're doing lots of online classes at the moment. How can people reach you? How can they see you? What, how can they work with you? Apart from the Gaston yeah, Paul yeah. Online Congress, of course, like you, you will experience Mona like with many different things um, spending time with you and teaching. So what are you offering at the moment? How can people reach out? Actually, I, I'm very sorry to say that all my classes are in German. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So, okay, yeah, that's, I mean, that's yeah. good to know. That's good yeah. to know. Mm -hmm. You to know, but if you are if you're a German speaker, you will find my online live classes on polearts.at. We um, will put the links in the comments uh, under the video, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where you find the live classes, the recordings of the live classes you get on my Patreon. Mm -hmm. on Luna, um, maybe underline Abinga. And there are also some uh, uh, little tutorials of uh, just a couple of moves on my YouTube channel. This is Paul Arts. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and follow me on Instagram. I love to see you there as well. Yeah, it's of course. Yeah. yeah, we put all the info under this video so you guys can check that out. Guys, nice. make sure you join the tutorials of Mona. Say hi. Take, tag us in yeah, your tutorials you. if, if you do anything i want to see you oh so i have to tag you if i do it yeah as well <laughs> all right i will do so i hope you guys do too thank you so much for joining us for this interview thank, thank you. you see you soon thank you mona bye bye thank you. bye <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. Cut. <laughs> <It was asking. laughs> Okay, jetzt gehe ich echt aufs Klo. Okay. Das oh, ich habe mich aufgenommen. Spaß. Nein, ich sehe, Rekorde gehen da echt.